Well, in recent years, the, uh, the, the, in, there is an increase in, um, in the use of laughing gas, recreational use of laughing gas. And we saw more and more patients on our outpatient uh, clinic uh, and emergency room with neurological complaints due to recreational use of laughing gas. We saw our first patients in, in 2017. And since then, the amount of patients is steadily increasing. And that's why we conducted uh, a retrospective analysis of our records um, to analyze the patients with uh, neurological problem, problems due to recreational use of laughing gas. What we find, um, most, most patients were complaining of paresthesias or uh, tingling sensations, some, uh, sometimes weakness of both hands and feet. Um, so most of the time, the clinical diagnosis of polyneuropathy uh, was made. Uh, but in some cases, there were some uh, central signs indicating um, a problem in the, uh, in the cervical spinal cord. Um, so then we conducted an MRI uh, of, the, of the spinal cord. And in, in two patients, we find um, what we call the reversed V sign indicating myelopathy um, due to vitamin B12 deficiency. All patients um, had a vitamin B12 deficiency uh, or increased malonic, uh, methylmalonic acid. So we uh, treated them with vitamin B12 supplementation. In some cases, the general practitioner already started the supplementation. And in some cases, we had to start it, um, mostly um, uh, uh, intramuscular injections. Well, this was only a retrospective analysis. Um, so we're planning to do a prospective um, research uh, based on um, databases in the Netherlands. Um, it's still we still have to figure out what what we would like to do, but we're planning to um, to do a prospective uh, research. Yes, um, I think it is based on um, um, announcements in, in newspapers. Um, there are more and more accidents, traffic accidents with. Uh, people um, using laughing gas during driving um, in, in the Netherlands, but also in Belgium, the UK, Germany, and as we saw on the, on the EN Congress, uh, also in France, there are some, uh, some cases. Uh, so I think it's, this is an, uh, a problem um, that's not only um, visible in, in, in the Netherlands, but in the rest of Europe as well. And um, what we're, we're trying to do uh, in uh, collaboration with the Dutch Poisoning and Intoxication Center is an uh, epidemiologic study, European-wide, um, just to investigate the epidemiology in, um, in the rest of Europe. But it's still ongoing and we submitted um, a proposal to the European Union, but we're still waiting for the funding.